Okay, I thought I'd get a video. Um, now we got a fully automated three-axis machine here. Um, been working pretty much all this week on finishing up what was needed to uh, get the motors hooked up to the Z-axis up here. So I got the uh, couplings and motor mount uh, put on there, and uh, got the ball screw installed and uh, turned down on the lathe. Uh, may have a few problems with that. I'm not entirely uh, satisfied with how that's come out and uh, I'm not exactly sure at the moment what's causing my problems with it. But uh, overall it works. Um, but I'm not I'm not certain how long the bearings or the ball nut's going to last. Um, I seem to have some wobble. So anyway, um, I'm going to show, uh, show the machine kind of run a test program here. This program was originally designed when I didn't have any uh, automated Z. So it used to have a bunch of stops and uh, it's kind of got some goofy Z moves um, because at the time I really didn't care what the program was generating as far as a uh, Z axis movement because um, I had to do all the Z movement myself. So I just put pauses in and uh, move the move the axis myself. And uh, But I just went ahead and took out all the pauses and left the, uh, left the rest of it pretty much the way it was. But um, I'll run a real quick test of it here and show the machine in motion. Not sure how much it shows up there, but um, I'm picking up about 10 thousandths of an inch of wobble on that shaft um, as it's moving. And uh, I can also look inside in the little peephole I've got where the uh, where the uh, Z crank used to be. And uh, if I watch real closely, I can see that bearing kind of skating around a little bit inside there. Um, so it looks like that screw wobbles and uh, as much as I tried to avoid any kind of uh, concentricity errors in it um, I don't think that I succeeded totally in doing that so I may have to uh, revisit the z-axis here not too long and see if I can correct that but uh, it does seem to move up and down I'm getting about 75 inches per minute um, maximum speed on it um, that seems to be limited by my uh, PC here that isn't a great candidate for EMC2. Um, the kernel speed is just too slow to handle this stepper motor at uh, 1 8 micro step. Um, it's just not fast enough to handle sending the pulse rate out to it. So if I try to go anything above uh, 75 inches a minute, I start getting uh, following errors from uh, EMC, which is basically telling me that it can't, uh, it can't keep up. So I'm going to have to look into that, um, see if that's really what's going on, or if, uh, if maybe I can squeeze a little bit more out of the PC. But um, honestly, 75 inches per minute is, is a pretty decent clip, um, at least as far as I'm concerned. I mean, I know that there's quite a few people that will think it's slow as, slow as molasses, but uh, it works pretty well for me. Uh, that rattling that you hear is actually the little guard that I've got over my x-axis uh, DRO, so that rattle isn't in the actual axis, it's just some stuff that's attached to the machine. So, that's 72 inches a minute right there. And uh, that's where we're at, so uh, here shortly I should be taking some test parts and uh, see how how it works pocketing and all that and if I've got any problems but uh, backlash is about a thousandth and a half um, which is really pretty good um, considering all my other axes are running you know three to five 
thousandths of backlash, the having the Z with just a thousandth is pretty nice. Uh, and uh, resquared the column, retrammed the mill. So uh, looks like maybe tomorrow I'll start uh, doing some cutting tests with it. Uh, one little thing I wanted to mention, if anybody else has a similar mill and they're, uh, they're looking for something helpful to do with it. Um, these are, this is one of the modifications um, I made based on some information I got on CNC Zone. A um, member called Machine Chick there um, showed off a uh, picture of her mill with a couple of extra holes drilled for uh, bolts. Uh, when you originally get the mill, you have one bolt here that holds the pivot point and you have another bolt here that um, secures the secures the head and keeps it from um, pivoting once you've once you set it um, when I uh, when I got the mill I had a lot of problems with the with the head kind of nodding forward in other words as this as this uh, bolt was tightened the uh, the spindle actually kind of got pushed down downward a little bit and tilted slightly um, and I never really could get rid of that. I could shim it um, as best I could, but I, I couldn't get it all out. And uh, when she when she showed off that modification, um, I figured the next time I had the head off, I'd go ahead and, and do that. So went ahead and drilled two holes for the uh, bolts uh, that you see up here at the top. This this bolt and uh, this bolt here. Um, drilled those with a I think it was a 15 30 seconds drill um, to give me plenty of clearance. Uh, I had to do it in a really uh, ugly way. I had it out on the uh, drill press and um, just pretty much <laughs> eyeballed it and uh, went on through and I didn't have it on a very stable uh, platform either. It was no way to clamp it down. The head's just too big uh, for my drill press. So um, anyway, I got through, the, got through the cast iron and got those holes drilled and I uh, brought it in here and added a couple of those two extra T bolts that I uh, had ordered a while back and uh, tightened it all up and now I've got um, pretty good pretty good connection up there and what uh, what these allow for me is I can tighten these bolts up a little tighter than I do this bottom bolt and that actually lets me pull that head back um, and takes the tilt out of it so it helps me tram it in the y-axis too which is something that I couldn't previously do um, so anyway, it's a really helpful modification, and uh, all you have to do is drill two holes to get it done. Um, of course, you got to have something. You're either going to have to hand drill these or have a drill press that's big enough to handle it. Um, probably want to try to secure it a little bit better than I did. Um, but in the end, I got the holes through and they, uh, the, the bolts fit and everything. So um, it may be a little ugly on the back, but it works. <laughs> 